What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to talk about failed sets and uniques. Now, I think this is an important video to make because I often will mention this as I'm playing through. I'll say something like, oh, this was a cool failed set, or oh, no, I found this and it's really upsetting, whatever it is. Um, so I want to explain a little bit about what that actually means and how you can kind of think about it. So the important thing to think about first when you're finding items in the game is how you're finding the item, right? So the item is rolling and the first thing that happens is it chooses from the treasure class, which will pick the base type. So it'll be bone knife, shako, burnt wand, mage plate, chain gloves, whatever it is, right? So not every monster can drop every single base. For instance, an unearthed wand or an archon staff or something like that is going to be a higher treasure class um, and so we can even bring this up i will show you and i've showed this before but we can look at it right here here are the treasure classes and you can see right here this is the base item and the q level of the base item so the q level for these items in the tc87 are q level 85 Right, so you're not just gonna have like a random mob in you know the cold plains dropping dimensional shards. They're not gonna be able to drop this whatsoever, right? So you have these bases here. You have this treasure class TC87, and it's important to note that with this treasure class, not every mob does drop from this. Again, for instance, Mephisto, even though he is a high enough level. He still can't drop from the treasure class 87 class. So even though his monster level is high enough to, you know, drop these sorts of things, he can't because he can't specifically pull from this class, right? I think, I mean, I'm not even sure how far down you have to go before you actually get to where he does drop from. He probably drops, we know, okay, so he drops from TC 75 might drop from TC78. I think this is it. So Mephisto can only drop these items and below. Everything below, but that's it. So even though his monster level is higher, right? So anyways, that's just how the item stuff works, right? Goes through, picks the bases, all of that stuff. And then again, you have this idea over here. This is the Q level of the unique item. So for instance, Mang Song's lesson is Q level 86. And so if I'm in an area level 85, like the pits, and I kill a regular monster that drops an Archon Staff, because they can drop that in the pits, but they're only level 85, they cannot drop Mang Song's Lesson, because it's Q level 86. And you'll notice there's not a lot of items that can't be dropped like that, right? So COA is 86, 87 for Tyrael's Might, um... 86 for Mang Songs there, and then you're gonna have maybe a couple more. Arachnid Mesh is a high one. Tomb Reaver's 86, but you can see a lot of these can be dropped by those monsters, right? So even a regular monster in the pits could, but again, not every monster could drop Mang Songs Lesson. So anyways, now that we've talked about that a little bit, let's talk again about the rolling. So first it will pick whatever base it is. And then once it picks the base, it says bone knife. Then it will roll for the rarity of the bone knife. So it'll say, is this a unique? And it'll roll the dice. No, okay. Is this a set? Roll the dice. No, is this a rare? Roll the dice. No, is it a magic? And it'll just keep working its way down until it eventually says, is this blank? Yes. And then it sticks it as that. So for instance, Wizpike says, is this a unique? It rolls, it says yes, it goes, what is the bone knife unique? It's wizard's pike, and it can be dropped, then it will make it a wizard's pike. But what happens in those cases of, for instance, the Mang Song's lesson, right? Where the, the mob can drop an Archon Staff, but it's monster level 85. The mob drops it, it says, is it an Archon Staff? Staff? Yes, because it picks it out of the TC. Is it a unique? Yes, but you're not a high enough level to drop it. What happens in this case? You would actually get a failed unique. And this is the same thing for something that doesn't exist. For instance, a unique lacquered plate, right? You know the set lacquered plate is Taurash's armor. What's the unique lacquered plate? 
They just didn't make one. There's just a lot of bases that don't have uniques or set versions of them. So a lacquered plate could drop and it says, is this unique? Yes, there isn't one though. So what does it do in these instances? And the same thing with a set. Is this Archon plate a set? Yes, there is no set Archon plate either. So what does it do? Does it roll down to the next thing and try for the next? No, it actually will keep it being unique or set or whatever it is, but it will change it into a different item. So for instance, the unique lacquered plate is right here. This is a unique lacquered plate drop. And you might say, Mr. Llama, that's not a unique lacquered plate drop. That's a, that's a rare. I think you're, you're blind. It, I know it looks similar, but you're wrong there. But something I want you to note is the durability. How much durability does this have? It has 165. How much durability does a lacquered plate actually have? 55. So what it does is it will come here and it says, is this a unique? Yes. Okay, there is no unique lacquered plate. Instead, we'll drop it to a rare and triple the durability. So this is a failed unique right here. And if, if I had that, Ar that Archon staff, right, the, the Mang Songs lesson that couldn't drop, even though it rolled that it would, I would get a triple durability Archon staff. And it would be rare. Same sort of thing. So, okay, that is the, you know, does not work, right, failed, failed unique. How does a failed set work? The same way, except it is a magic item that will have double durability. So again, we have a magic Archon plate, but this is 120 durability, whereas an Archon plate only has 60 durability. So we know just by looking at the durability of this magic Archon plate, because there is no set Archon plate, that this rolled yes on set, but there is no set, so instead it failed over to a magic. So that is all. That is simply what it means and how you can tell if you have a failed set or a failed unique. Again, it doesn't really change a lot. Yeah, you get a little more durability, but overall it's just a fun thing to see, right? It's just one of those, ooh, I found a unique lacquered plate and a set Archon plate, even though those aren't things that actually exist but you can kind of like have them in your own personal fun grail or whatever you want to do. Doesn't really matter, right? So just wanted to explain that because again, a lot of people always ask the question every time I talk about it. Um, it doesn't affect the mods, the rolls on it, nothing else, purely just the durability. But another fun thing about Diablo 2, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. Peace, everybody.